Welcome to the Thomas and Friends Character Cube. This is your chance to get to know your island friends and even learn fun facts about each of them. You can either sit back and read along as the character cubes rotate to the next character, or if you're in a hurry to see a favorite soda or friend, you can click on the next button that appears on the screen. If you would like to go back a cube, click on the back button that appears on the screen. Have fun! Thomas can be described as a cheeky, fussy little engine. He often gets into scrapes, usually by being overeager to do things best left to bigger and more sensible engines. But clouds never last long in Thomas's world, and he's soon bustling about again, playing his part in the yard and on his very own branch line, of which he is extremely proud. Thomas is based on the London Brighton and South Coast Railway 060E2 with extended side tanks. Edward is one of the older engines in Sir Topham Hatt's railway. The most important thing about Edward is that he's good-willed and kind. When the other engines misbehave, it's Edward that Sir Topham Hatt turns to in order to calm everyone down and restore order. Edward did not have a number on his side in the first original stories. It was only after Book 6 in the Railway series that Edward received his number 2, which he is now known for. Henry is a long, fast engine. He has a thoroughbred look and, like all thoroughbreds, tends to be somewhat highly strung and prone to illness. But he has his new shape now and, sympathetically driven, he'll give any engine a run for its money. Before his shape was changed, Henry had to have special coal brought in so he could run properly. Gordon is the senior member of the engine family, the fastest and most powerful of Sir Topham Hatt's string, and he knows it. He's good-hearted, though, and always willing to forgive, and use his superior strength to help smaller engines out of trouble. When the Queen visited the island, it was Gordon that Sir Topham Hatt turned to, to take the Queen around Sodor. James is a medium-sized engine. His six driving wheels are not as big as Gordon's and not as small as Thomas's. He has a fine scarlet coat and brass dome and likes to think of himself as a really splendid engine. This can occasionally lead to highfalutin ideas about the sort of work suitable for such a noble creature. Invariably, they land James into trouble. James is a mixed traffic engine, which means he can pull both passenger coaches as well as freight cars. Percy is the junior member of the principal team of engines. He's a happy little chap who's normally quite content puffing around the yard with no particular desire for adventure in the great world outside. He's always keen to oblige, a fact of which the other engines are apt to take advantage. Percy is a 040 saddle tank engine based on engines from the Avonside Engine Company. Toby is old-fashioned, both in looks and outlook. Every engine, no matter how old, wants to be really useful, and having once nearly been scrapped, Toby is always happy to work. He's not about being temperamental sometimes, but since he works mainly up an outlying quarry line, he can work off his moods without causing grief to anyone except his own faithful coach, Henrietta. Sir Topham Hatt brought Toby to his railway to help out with Thomas's branch line. Duck is a cheerful and busy engine. He's only a small tank engine, but coming as he does from the Great Western Railroad, he'll stand no nonsense whatsoever from larger engines who try to order him about. Duck received his name because they say he waddles along the tracks. Other than their name plaques and numbers, Donald and his brother Douglas are twins. Donald does not like to be parted from his brother and loves to play practical jokes on the other engines. Sir Topham Hatt had ordered one goods engine from Scotland, but was surprised when both Donald and Douglas showed up. Douglas, along with his twin brother Donald, loves playing jokes on the other engines. His antics usually lead to trouble, but he is a hard worker and is especially good at plowing snow. When Douglas and his brother Donald arrived at the island, no one could tell them apart because they had lost their numbers and name plaques. Mavis is a feisty young diesel engine who works at the quarry. She's full of her own ideas and doesn't take kindly to advice. She has a lot to learn about the troublesome trucks, but 
With Toby's help, she's learning to be a really useful engine. Mavis is a 060 Drury Diesel mechanical locomotive. Bertie has a great deal in common with Thomas. Ever since their great race, they've been the firmest of friends. Bertie's strongest characteristic is his friendly grin and his readiness to help any engine prepared to admit that, just sometimes, roads have their uses as well as rails. Bertie is a single-decker front entrance bus with a direct line of descent from the English Carabank of the 1930s and 40s. Like all cranes, Cranky has a high and mighty attitude which often annoys the engines. Cranky knows that if he ever gets too big for his crane hook, the engines have ways of getting back at him. However, Cranky enjoys teasing them because, he says, it makes for good working relationships. But don't ask Percy if he agrees. Cranky mainly works down at the docks. He will, however, be transported to other areas of the island if it is absolutely necessary. In a railway family, Harold can hardly avoid having a high profile. He brings a welcome spot of dash to the quiet landscape of Sodor whenever he appears, and even if the noise he makes is occasionally wearing, he is good-hearted and the engines are always pleased to see him. As far as we are aware, Harold has never flown outside the island of Sodor. Bulgy is a bad-tempered double-decker bus who is out to close down the rails and free the roads. He has no scruples and knows how to tell a lie when he's in a tight jam, which is why he and Diesel are friends. Bulgy was originally taken out of service by Sir Topham Hatt for stretching the truth. Harvey is a good-natured crane engine brought to the island to help with the loading and unloading of freight. No job is too big for him. He's used in the yards, the docks, and building sites, but his true home is the Sodor Waterworks. Although at first the other engines teased him for his unique look, Harvey, with his breakdown crane, soon proved that he, too, was a really useful engine. Salty, the dockside diesel, loves to tell tales of his life by the sea. He often works in the quarry, but is happiest down by the docks. Salty has a great big heart and will always rush to the aid of any engine, be it steam or fellow diesel. Salty was able to calm the rambunctious, troublesome trucks by singing his favorite songs and getting them to work to his musical rhythm. Spencer is just about the shiniest, sleekest engine the island of Sodor has ever seen. A striking silver express engine, Spencer was brought to the island as the private engine of the visiting Duke and Duchess. Spencer ends up in need of a little help from another fast engine, Gordon, when he thinks that being big and fast means he doesn't need to take advice from friends. Arthur is a big new tank engine whose job is to shunt trucks and pull freight. He is as excited to work for Sir Topham Hatt as he is proud of his famous spotless record. Only time will tell if that record will stay as spotless as Arthur would like. Arthur proves that his heart is just as big as his size when he forgives Thomas for getting him into a sticky mess. Murdoch is a mighty engine with ten drive wheels. He was brought to the island to help with the heavy workload and pull freight on the main line. As shy as he is strong, Murdoch can often be found seeking peace and quiet. Murdoch finds that the countryside is not as peaceful and quiet as he would have liked when he encounters a track full of wandering, noisy sheep. Emily is a beautiful engine with shiny paintwork and gleaming brass fittings. After she rescued Oliver and Toad when they were stuck on the tracks, Sir Topham Hatt rewarded her with a brand new pair of coaches. Before Emily got her own coaches, she pulled Annie and Clarabelle for a short time, much to Thomas's dismay. Thank you for visiting the Thomas and Friends Character Cube. Be sure to come back again and again.